Alright folks, I want to take you through this little motor uh, that I've got going on here. This is not purely an electrostatic motor, like the, the one without the little frame I've got going on. It's just a straight up and down rod balanced on the top of that brass rod down below. And what that does is actually emanates plasma out the tips there, of the bent tips, right here. And actually that plasma creates propulsion, like an ion pulse engine in a lot of ways, a plasma pulse engine. Uh, what I've got going on is not only do I have the plasma discharge at the end, but because of this coil pattern, I've got two little electromagnets right there at key points on this uh, spun around itself shaft. And that's allowing it to give kind of a corkscrew effect through the electromagnetic pulse that's taking place inside of that little coil and that little coil right there. Uh, which are gaining their energy from the larger loop coils around it. So you'll actually notice, uh, whereas the, the straight shaft sitting on the brass rod free spins for a period of time after I'm done rotating the Wimshurst, whereas this one you'll see slows down very, very quickly, and then actually it'll pass a certain magnetic cog point, and then rotate back and lock into that cog point, where it's acting like a magnetic motor, also with the plasma discharge. So you're getting a lot higher RPM and a lot more power out of this little system than you would if it was directly just the, the straight rod going down on top of that brass rod. So let me go ahead and show you this in action and you can see for yourself. Alright folks, this is a different design of that same uh, electrostatic motor. This is more of a helicopter style. Let me zoom in for you here a little bit so you can kind of see it's a nice flat blade design. Uh, after we're done running it, I'll show you it up close. So let me go ahead and turn that on real quick. Alright. 